Well, this song is a song from my first album. This is called The Fast Train Song, and I really enjoy playing this because it's fun. Good. Fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> That's uh, amazing control of the guitar you've got there. As Thank soon as you. you started playing, I thought, wow, this is fantastic. Yeah, Thank that's you. awesome. How long has it taken you to get that good? I learnt the guitar probably in, you know, my early teens. Yeah. I used to play um, the keyboards and I played the electronic organ. You know, I had the pedal, the the foot pedals, mm-hmm. and the the double, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, and, the, and the vibrato switch, and the you know, um, bossa nova buttons, and you know, I used to play the organ. I played that for a few years, and then I got into um, playing guitar later on because I just felt like I was more of a string person. Yeah. And um, I really got into the double bass and I started playing electric guitar probably when I was 10 years ago. I really got into playing lead guitar um, and that's kind of when I started performing Mm. professionally. I would really like to be a lot better than what I am, but I guess life gets in the way sometimes, you know, Mm. between songwriting and, you know, getting your voice great and and Mm. general life. 
So you've got the, the six-string acoustic mate on. Uh, are there any other string instruments you have that you uh, play, especially on yeah, CD? Yeah, I've got my... Um, well, I usually, at my shows, because I'm playing with as a trio at the moment, I like to play lead guitar. So I have a Epiphone Casino. I call it Epi. Mm-hmm. Her name's Epi. And she's um she's a blonde. She's really beautiful, and she's part of the band. And, uh, yeah, she's just got a nice, fat, boomy yeah, a electric guitar sound. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. and I really dig that. So yes, yeah, so I play that. Uh, I do have a Strat. It's a Strat copy, but it's actually an antique Strat copy. Like it's a Samic, yeah. but it's over thirty years old. So I guess it's vintage mm. now. You could call it. It's made as well as all the the yeah. Strats that are made today. Okay. Thank you. You're gonna do another song for us. That's sure. Right. Sure. Um, um, I wanted to just mention about this song. This is a new song, but um, a friend of mine who was very ill asked me if I could write him a song um, to make you know make him feel better. And a few weeks went by, and this song came up. Um, unfortunately, now um, I, I ended up recording it and then you know, at home just to, like a demo, and then sent it to him. And he said he absolutely loved it, and he played it every day. And unfortunately, he passed away a couple of weeks ago. But one of his emails he sent me asked if I could sing it at his funeral if the time was to come and uh, you know it did come so anyway this is the song so it means a lot to me this song it's called Sailing Again That's a very uh, touching and personal number, isn't it? Yeah, it is. A bit of um, positive affirmation about life, that, you know, when troubles happen and when life is a struggle, there's always an end. It'll always end, you know. There's always a light at the end of the tunnel. 